This video focuses on some of the drawing tools you can use to enhance your image captures. Let's start by opening the Snagit editor from the Snagit capture window. Snagit gives you the ability to select an area of the image and delete or copy and paste it to another capture. Use the selection tool to select the area you want and move it to a different location on this image. Delete it or copy and paste it in another capture. Various tools are located under the Draw tab. Select an image capture from the tray and let's explore the tools. We won't cover every drawing tool in Snagit extensively during this tutorial, but just enough to get you going starting with the most commonly used tools. The Callout tool, located here, allows you to add notes to your captures. This can be important for providing context or necessary information and is one of the most used drawing tools in Snagit. Select the callout tool with a style that you like, then click and drag to place it. You can change the shape and line width here under the outline drop down. If your callout has a tail, you can click and drag the tail to point to the location you wish to label. You can resize any callout by dragging the handles. Click inside the callout to add text. If you've customized the callout by changing its size, shape, or overall look and feel, you can save these settings to use the same style again. To do this, select your callout, click on the drop down symbol, More, and select Add to Quick Styles. Arrow tools are the last of the top three used drawing tools. These give you an efficient way to point to an exact location or display direction. You can resize and curve the arrow by using the handles. Now, let's explore Snagit's many stamps. Stamps are pre-installed and ready to use. You can also download more from the TechSmith website or add your own. I tend to use stamps for labeling steps, showing where to click on something, or to add an easy graphic element to my captures. The creative possibilities are endless. To use stamps, select the stamp icon, then click More to browse Snagit's preloaded stamps. Here, you can select the stamp of your choice and click on the image to place it. Once your stamp is on the page, you can move it around or resize it by dragging the handles here. Under the Effects drop-down, you can change its opacity or add a shadow. The rest of the tools will not be covered extensively, so you can feel free to explore each one at your own pace after this tutorial. You can add your personality to your image using the Pen tool in your favorite color. The Highlight tool allows you to call attention to an area in your image. The text option allows you to add text to any part of your captures. Click on the A and click and drag on the image to create a text box. The Line and Shape tool allows you to draw attention to important aspects of your capture or create a simple border for an image. Click on the line or shape of your choice and simply draw the item on the image. The Fill tool will fill in any same color area as the point of the image you click on. Do this by first selecting the Fill tool, then selecting a preset color, or click on more fill colors under the Fill drop-down. Now you can fill in areas of your image with the color you selected. To erase a custom area, select the Eraser tool and the eraser size here. Draw anywhere on the image to erase it. Now share your capture with your friends via email or by sending it to screencast.com and sharing the link. You can save your image in a variety of formats including PNG, JPEG, and more. However, saving your image as a snag proj will allow you to edit the image and all of its markups later. Now that you've seen the drawing tools in action, come tell us what you think at feedback.techsmith.com.